Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about the much needed video that you've all been asking me for and that is Meghan Markle and her pregnancies. Were they real or were they not? So if this is a video that you are interested in then you should know what to do by now and if you're new here grab your drink of choice and drop it in the comments what you are sitting back and relaxing with drinking today. Um, for me, as always, I'm drinking my cherries and berries, non-alcoholic, because I would not come on here with an alcoholic drink. That would not be okay, I think. Um, but for those of you around the world who would like to add a little something, something to their drink of choice, because as the flag says behind me, it is five o'clock somewhere. So grab your drink and let's dive right in. So for those of you who are new here and you're sitting there thinking, wow, she looks rather perspiry on the channel. I just need you to know that I am going through the menopause. And so I am going to come on camera and at times I am going to be like this. I'm also going to be doing a lot of this, getting my words jumbled up. You name it, it happens. And rather than edit it out, which some of you have said to do, I don't bother because at the end of the day, I'm a woman, I'm going through the menopause. A lot of you can relate. So what's the point? This is part of my life and you get to share it with me. So there's always that. Um, so yeah. So today's video, the pregnancies. So many of you I have done various videos and I have touched on this subject and my personal, personal opinion is that I believe she was not, nor ever has she been pregnant with Harry's child. Now, some of you have said to me, do you feel that she was pregnant before? I'm going to get into that. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I believe I think to be true. However, as always, I ask you to look at all of the information, not just on what I show you here, but what other people have shown you, various other YouTubers, um, what is in the social media platform, you know, the, the mainstream media platform, and decide for yourself. You know, you have your own brain. Don't be one of these people that just go along with what somebody says because they say it's true. Look at all the evidence, which is what I always ask you to do, and then come to a, an informed decision yourself. And even if it differs from mine, that's okay. All I ask is that when you talk in the comments, just keep it respectful because it's nice to have a debate, but there's no need to attack anybody. I just want to add before I talk about some of these things that they could be quite triggering. I am going to be talking about obviously pregnancy. I'm going to be talking about miscarriages, uh, possible suicidal tendencies, um, because these these are all things that have come up in the Harry and Meghan relationship. So just please bear in mind if you have gone through some of these things, um, this can be quite triggering for you. So just please bear that in mind. And if you have to fast forward those things, I will try and put trigger warnings up so you know that something is going to be coming up, um, which is going to be coming up in a minute. So just bear in mind um, for, those, for those of you that might struggle with things like that. Most of you have known by now that I've done the video on regards to their wedding. And in that, I stated that I believe this was a very rushed wedding. I have a feeling just from kind of the way I know how narcissistic people behave, if they are in threat of losing what their end goal is, they will do whatever it takes to regain control of that. So in this case, it would be if she thought that she was losing Harry, her cash cow, her elevation to her next level that was in her mind, um, she would do absolutely anything to secure that. So let's look at some of the things that a 
narcissist would do to secure that. Would they lie? Yes. Would they manipulate? Yes. Would they do something unlawful, illegal? Yes, absolutely, if they felt they could get away with it. Would they do things that hurt, potentially hurt other people? Absolutely. Again, would they care? No. So all of those things then puts us in the situation of what could she have done or said to Harry to have made this relationship get rushed forward? And one of the biggest things, I believe, is either one of two things. Either when they were in, I believe, Botswana, they got inebriated or under the influence and got married. Now, would this be a legal marriage? I don't know 100%. There's mixed, there's mixed things on this. However, what would happen, what could potentially have happened, is that even if it wasn't legal, the fact that it's happened, it's very possible that Megan would have dug her heels in and said, well, you've married me now. Look how bad it's going to look to me in the public eye if you divorce me, if we say that this was a mistake. So possibly what could have happened is they got, got engaged and then they had a bit of an engagement and then they got married. I don't know if that's true, but this is one example that could have happened. The other, which is what I potentially believe to be true, is that she pretended that she was pregnant. And so the wedding was rushed. Um, and then because the, the wedding was in 2018 and Archie was born in 2019. Or, which is another scenario that I've spoken about, is that Harry was unfaithful because he was known to be, he was a ladies man and he in a drunken stupor, perhaps got somebody pregnant and the woman involved wanted to keep the child. And so Megan went along with pretending to be pregnant. However, I do think in ensnaring him, she possibly pretended. Then she possibly feigned a miscarriage. And again, this is all allegedly, this is just how I believe narcissists to be. Um, which is why I think she then spoke about the uh, miscarriage in the paper, because at some point she would have pretended to have one. Harry wouldn't have had any way to stop that from happening because it would have been like, well, no, I did have that and you didn't really do anything. You didn't really support me. So she would have lied and done what she'd done to, again, because she can. She would at this point have known that she can get away with things because the royal family would have wanted to protect Harry. So let's go back to the original scenarios of did she pretend to be pregnant? I believe yes. I believe that's why the wedding was rushed. That's why her dress was ill-fitting because it was very possible that she would have had to have, when she had the fitting, she would have had to have said, I have to make room for the fact that I'm pregnant. Now, whether or not before the wedding, she then had this supposed miscarriage, which then explains there was possibly no time for this wedding dress to be refitted. Um, I don't know. Again, I just give these scenarios. You can decide for yourself what you think, but it makes sense to me that she would pretend. Then she would also pretend to lose the said child. She then ends up obviously then getting married to Harry and it wasn't long after that that she fell pregnant, allegedly. Um, Archie was born in May 2019. So this would have been around that time. I, knowing narcissists the way I do, they make terrible parents. There is no maneuverability in that. Anyone that has had a parent that's a narcissist will never say to you, we had the most glowing, wonderful upbringing. Um, and I think that if Megan was to actually get pregnant, this would have been to ensnare Harry. No other which way about it, a royal child. 
However, what also happens, especially with a young child, is they become an extension of the narcissist. One of them does. You, if you have more than one child, you will find that one is an extension and one is the, the one they discard, the one they don't really pay that much attention to, the one they actually pick on or ridicule. There, would, there will usually be one that they dote after, the one that they almost see as themselves. So initially, we have the fact that she was allegedly pregnant with Archie. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen the photographs and I am going to be putting some up as I talk along. I'm going to be showing you different photographs of, say, when she goes into somewhere, when she comes out of somewhere and she looks completely different. I'm going to be showing you photographs of the fact that her bump changes from one day it's one size and then a few days later it's either a, a huge amount smaller or a huge amount bigger. Um, and in the midst of this, I'm also going to be showing you some video footage as well, which I also want you to see. I have slowed various moments down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So in my opinion here is that I don't believe that she was ever pregnant, but I do run alongside the fact that there was potentially somebody who was pregnant at the time. Now, some people have said, could this have been a surrogate? very possibly very possibly there's it's difficult to say whether or not this person was a surrogate for harry and Meghan. however again if this child was say born of a surrogate we've then got to look at why the surrogate decided to keep the child and if this is the case then the child would be 50 percent harry's say would the child be have megan's dna or is it the surrogate's DNA? So then at some point then it probably has come out, say that she's not pregnant or she's had a miscarriage and Harry is, Harry's trapped here, right? Because he can't leave her. And, and I think that when I'm watching that wedding video, and if you haven't seen it, please go across and watch it. Um, and I will try and put the link up here. If not, I'll put it at the end of the video so you can click on it if you haven't seen it. He looks miserable. He looks miserable. He There is a lot of sighing, a lot of anxiety. He looks deeply unhappy. The royal family look unhappy. So what I possibly think here is that it's almost like a shotgun wedding. I think it's almost as if something was happening and he's been, and he's been trapped into marrying her. And only, in my opinion, two things could have done that. Either she's got something on him and she's trapped him into marriage, she's got something on him that's that's saying, you can't leave me, or she's pregnant. And it would have looked absolutely terrible if he'd have walked away from a relationship. Because you've got to bear in mind, he's broken up with her as well by this point as well, at some point in Skip's wedding, and they got back together again. So it's something got them back together again. And the only thing that I can potentially think of that the royal family would have probably said to him, you are gonna to have to marry this woman is a pregnancy because you know this isn't just a normal family where someone could probably go you know what I, I, I will take responsibility for this child but I don't love this woman um this is the royal family this is this is different you know not only that in the eyes of the media she's biracial um you know she, at this point she's probably shown a side to herself that shows that she is going to come out all guns blazing if harry walks away from her because she's not going to take this lightly um so there is possibly that the other theory like i said is that harry has potentially got somebody else pregnant he was shown to be unfaithful he was even dating somebody called sarah at the time he was dating megan he is a philander philanderer <laughs> um he's a ladies man um he doesn't particularly care he was he's openly said that he drank a lot takes a lot of drugs and i'm sorry i don't believe in around that time he would have been super careful going oh you know what i need to take protection before i have 
sexual relations with somebody. So it's very conceivably possible that in a drunken night he slept with somebody and they've ended up pregnant. Now, okay, an Ill illegitimate child is not something, it's, it's probably frowned upon, but it's not something that they would have been like the be all and end all, but it would have been for Megan. So if it had come out that he'd been unfaithful to Megan, with somebody else and then got this person pregnant she would of rain merry hell there is absolutely no way she would have taken that lightly this is her cash cow you've got to remember this is not love for her this is her cash cow and so in her mind this woman is now a threat so she would have done something in my opinion anything to secure that so what she possibly could have said is, you're not leaving me or I'm going to tell the world that this is happening and I'm going to make it seem really damning against you. She possibly has, because I believe there is also a potential that she's got something on him in regards to the things that happened in Soho House. I have a feeling that she would have possibly threatened him with this. And so then it's very plausible that she would say, because her end goal is Harry. It's not about this woman. It's not about this child. It's the money, what this could get her. So she would need to keep hold of this. So in that moment, she could have said to him, and this is just an idea, she could have said to him, I will pretend to be pregnant. I will act as if it's me that's the one that's pregnant whilst this woman is pregnant. And this woman kind of goes into, say, goes into hiding, etc. And I know this sounds very conspiracy theory. I get that. But this is what we're left with because we know, we know. Well, I'm hoping that you will see after you've seen this video, you will see that she was not pregnant. She lied. So why would she lie? Now, some people have said she would lie to put a child in the line of succession. OK, fair enough. But then why would the royal family accept this? Why would they accept a, this woman who is then not going with the royal doctors, not going with the royal nurses? Because there's no way she could have been checked out by anyone in the royal family. Because if she lied about being pregnant, they would have seen it. So the royal family would have had to have accepted that Meghan was doing her own thing. And I find that very inconceivable and not only that the fact that if we can pick up on the fact that she was not pregnant you can guarantee the royal family at some point picks up on the fact that she's lying we've seen the evidence in the media you can't tell me that in close proximity they never spotted the fact that she wasn't pregnant there were rumors of her that on the australia in the australia tour that they had separate rooms and at one point harry says something about the child not even being his why did they have separate rooms? Possibly because she didn't want him to see her naked because then perhaps in the beginning she lied to Harry, possibly, and Harry believed her. It's very hard to critique a woman who's pregnant who then gets bashful about her body, say, allegedly, and says, oh, I don't want to see you to see me naked. But at some point, Harry would have been, you know, I want to feel your tummy. I want to, you know. And if you look at a lot of the footage around Harry and Meghan, he never helps her. He never supports her when she's pregnant. There's no weight gain in the beginning. There's weight gain right at the end. But if you look at the difference between, I mean, I'll tell, we'll compare to a lot of other pregnant women. And they start to put on weight very, very sort of within, I suppose, maybe the first, especially for the first child, even though allegedly this might not be her first child. Um, you know, around the sort of five, six month mark. I know that I did. I mean, I didn't really look pregnant until I got to about five months and I started to show. Um, but she didn't. And it was all the moon bump flashes that she did. And like I said this before, I think that was a, um, a fingers up to the media because I think she knew the media knew the truth and there was nothing they could do about it. It was very weird, the moon, those moon bump flashes and they were t they were attention seeking. And again, a lot of people can say, well, she was trying to gain attention for being pregnant. Well, it's obvious she's pregnant. But it was the fact that she opened her coat, literally did a moon bump flash every time there was the media there. 
And I, I, I genuinely do believe that that was a, a fingers up. Um, and you can see, like I say, I'm going to show you like various bits of footage as, as I go along here. Um, so before I get to the video, um, I just want to add this in here. So before I get into the next part of this video, I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody who supported my very first advert that I did a little while back. And the company loved it so much and the support that I got from you guys was so amazing that they've asked me to put it in and run it again. Give this a watch. It's a couple of minutes. Let me know what you think. So this is my first advert, guys, so please be kind. Um, I have been thinking about getting a VPN for quite some time, mainly due to the online security issue that I worry about. I've done a lot of research. I contacted a company called Atlas VPN, had a great conversation with somebody called Camille, who put a lot of my concerns to rest. They gave me a great deal that I could then give to you guys, because as you know, if I find something, I like to share it with you. So for three years at this set price of $1.83, which works out to be one pound 44 a month but if you click on my link which you will get three months extra free so you will get three years three months at $1.83 one pound 44 a month and I've done a lot of research and that is one of the cheapest out there that I can find that we're willing to bring it here for you guys to get that discount I know many of you for the fact that if you are on a streaming service if there is something that I want to watch and I can't get it because I'm in the UK I can change my country of origin say for the United States or where Forever, and I can watch something from there just using this VPN. The other benefits are you can also do the same thing when it comes to booking holidays, flights, hotels, etc. It changes everything to save you so much more money. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I certainly didn't. It protects everything that you search for online. You are protected from your Google searches. You no longer get the malware spam. And I don't know about you, but if you've got family, that is something that's incredibly important. Obviously, I have an Arthur and maybe he's searching things when I go to bed. Maybe watching things. I don't know. And maybe this will help him. This is something that I think would be very beneficial to all of you if it's something that you have ever thought about doing. And I would say suggest doing it especially in this day and age but one of the other things is that it also protects all of your devices in your household so this will be for your children for yourself your husband your wife you will protected by all of them and again i think this is such a great deal whereas a lot of others they might just limit you this company doesn't so don't forget if you click on my link it's one dollar 83 a month one pound 44 a month and you get three months extra free so don't miss out on this great deal and i will see you in the next advert See you soon. Bye. And now back to the main part of the video. If you are interested, like I say, the link will be in the description box below this in this video. The very it will put I'll put it at the very, very top of this video. Um, so yeah. So in my opinion, this is this is what I think is playing out. So again, like I say, there's two rules of thumb here. Either she trapped him. And she lied and said that she was pregnant and then lost the child. But then if that, if that was the case, it doesn't make sense why then a surrogate was used. Say allegedly a surrogate was used. Why would you go through something and then use a surrogate? And then lie about it because there is no shame in using a surrogate. No shame whatsoever. There is no shame in, say, allegedly losing a child if this was something that she pretended to have, you know, in this in this moment. Um, and then the royal family then going along with the surrogate, but lying. Why would they? And all because what Megan said so. Megan said that, that she was pregnant. I don't believe this. I, I genuinely, in my heart, my instincts tell me that, yes, she probably did say she was pregnant initially, I think possibly around in Skip's wedding. She then potentially the wedding was rushed, which was why the dress was ill-fitting. However, I think something else happened. I'm not sure exactly what, but my theory, my theory is that potentially Harry was unfaithful to her and potentially he ended up getting somebody pregnant and so she because she didn't want to lose her cash cow went along with it because to me in my opinion it does not make any sense 
why the royal family, unless the only other option is there is blackmail involved. In which case, where she's either blackmailing Harry and Harry is asking his family to go along with it because he's terrified of what could come out. Now, people have said, even if it's a sex tape, but you've also got to remember if that sex tape is showing Harry doing things to, say, Meghan, and it makes it look, in some of the th in the way that the, some of the things that he's been accused of, this could be horrific for the royal family, especially with the stuff with Prince Andrew. I think this would be something the royal family would really struggle to come back from. And then Meghan would come out the victor, in my opinion. She would be the victim. She would be somebody, especially, you know, race would be used. You know, look at the, I mean, you've only got to look at the onslaught that happened for the lies that they told in Oprah, the how many people believed that initially. So if something come out which showed Harry in a very damning light, in that department, it would be bad, in my opinion. Um, and so this is why I think, you know, narcissists are very manipulative. They are always scheming, always thinking, as soon as something happens or something doesn't quite go their way, they're onto the next scheme of how to get out of that. And, and you've got to remember, she's just not an average person now. She's someone that has got backing. She has got money. She has got, and as much as she may not have as much as what she thought she would have, she still has. And we're talking about it back in the beginning here, not now. So it's very possible that a lot of the stuff that the royal family have done have been to protect Harry, um, not quite realising how awful that she is. And so along the way, we then have this child that supposedly has been born, and that is Archie. And I will get into the children on another video, because otherwise this is going to be too long. Um, and then, of course, then, a little while later, we go through the same thing again with Lily. And again, you've only got to look at the fact that, in my opinion, if she thought, well, I got away with it the first time, I can definitely get away with it the second time because I'm not even in the UK. I'm in I'm in the States and I can hide away. We very rarely saw her out and about uh, with the second one. Then she appeared on Oprah. And again, if you look at the way she walks, the way she sits down, the way she get, got back up again, there wasn't really a lot of supporting herself. She looked a different size again from when she was sitting down with the Oprah interview, the bump again to me looked squashed, to then when she was apparently in this chicken coop, which by the way is highly, highly dangerous for a fetus. Why was that not considered? She bends down, she's in jeans, her bump is huge. To me, this is all, in my opinion, a lie. And I'm going to add the video here now because I think, you know, it's time for you to see the video that I that I kind of the snippets that I've got from various aspects of social media. And I've slowed things down for you. I've done a bit of a voiceover so you can see and then we're going to talk about it. So here's the video I'm going to put up here right now so you can see this uh, and what I'm talking about. <laughs> After the pop, you can clearly see that the bump expands. I've slowed this down for you in various places so you can actually see that the tummy inflates. And then she puts her hand in front of it almost to stop it from inflating any further. It's so plainly obvious to me when you slow it down and you can see it. One minute you see no bump and then all of a sudden you just see the bump expand. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't know any pregnancy belly that does that. So this is just after the popping sound. So again, I slowed this down for you so you can see literally in a minuscule detail how much you watch this tummy expand. It's crazy to me. And this is why I truly believe 
that she was never pregnant, along with everything else, to be honest. Because if you were, why do you feel the need to do this? Why would you have an inflatable bump? And, and it's so blatant. It's as if she doesn't really care. And that's why I think she did the moon bump flashes. So here we have her bending down. And she squashes her belly and she goes down with her knees together. And I just think that, you know, there's pictures here showing it's pretty almost impossible to do. So yeah, here it is again. Just in case you missed it the first <laughs> three times I've shown you it. And then there's here, she's heavily pregnant here and she's bending down and her belly just looks a very odd shape to me as well. And this woman is uh, showing you that when you bend down, like when she forces it, it forces her legs open as you can see right there. And this is the, the obviously the infamous one where she literally has like a blancmange belly, a jelly belly. It wobbles from side to side, which I just find absolutely bizarre because uh, as far as I'm aware, a pregnant belly doesn't do that. It's usually solid mass, but it wobbles and jellies. This is her bending down again, squashing the belly. And this is another one where she goes in and she's absolutely huge going in and then nothing. And so this is the, f the famous one where it fell to her knees. So what do you think? Now seeing that video and go back and watch it again if you need to, what do you guys think? It is clear as day to me that you can see the bump inflate. Clear as day. We then have the pictures of, like I say, her going in and she's either really big and then she comes out and she's practically flat. Look at the baby shower where she had the baby shower. She went in really big, come out and she looked like she didn't have a bump on at all. Um, and I think, again, if you even if you were lying. And you and you knew you would want to make sure that that lie didn't get exposed but the fact that she like at the baby shower she openly went in huge and then come out literally looking like she didn't have a bump on at all with with knowing the media is going to be outside because she knew i think that the media were not going to say anything she knew that she was protected by i believe an embargo and if you don't think that that happens it does because there was an embargo when charles and camilla were actually seeing each other the media came out later on and said that they knew well in advance that this was happening, but they were not allowed by law legally to print anything. And I think that's what's happening with, with the pregnancies and with the children. I think the media are not allowed to, see any, to say anything. Now, bearing in mind that a lot of the time she was over here in the UK in the beginning, and then when she went over to the States and she was allegedly pregnant with Lily, she hid. You hardly saw her out and about. Probably because the American media is slightly different to the British media. And perhaps they might have printed something. But what I find interesting is nobody questions the children. Nobody questions the fact that they're apparently going on holiday to Portugal, which, by the way, I don't believe happened. So many of you have said to me, what do you think about the fact that they jetted off to Portugal? There's, if there's no pictures, it didn't happen, in my opinion, given the fact that these two call back grid, you know, if they have a sneeze or go to toilet. Um, there was I, I, I'm not that I saw. I didn't see any pictures. Um, I think that was just a ploy to say that they're in love, that they've gone on this romantic holiday. They're still in touch with family. I, I, I absolutely don't believe it at all. I think it's a, a, a ruse, a lie, a ploy, whatever you want to whatever you want to say. So I don't believe it to be true at all. So going back to the pregnancy. So in my opinion, to round this up. Do I believe that she was ever pregnant with Harry's child? No. Now, do I believe that she was ever pregnant? Possibly. And here's why, because I'm going to show you some photographs here and also a little video clip of what this particular woman says. 
Um, she was a, a caddy for all of my celebrities. I had Joe Montana. I had every anybody that's here was at my tournament in 2008. She was one of the Jill and Odell girls that were caddies. That I, I whatever, I, I, I pawned them off as caddies to the highest bidders. She was so loved, and you know, good for her. Yeah. You know, I'm laughing because I'm like, good for her. I mean, she met the prince. You know, and she you know, she made a great life for herself. Good for her. And I've had the fairy tale now with the baby. She's got the fairy tale now with the baby. Good, but good for her. I mean, Jesus, she's uh, what? She's everything you're not supposed to be. Multi-ethnic, and she's been married. She's already has a kid from someone or divorced. I mean, everything you're not supposed to be in a Catholic family or whatever. Multi-ethnic, and she's been married. She's already has a kid from someone or divorce I mean every so I found that interesting that this woman slips up and says that she's already a mother and there is this photograph that does create her to look as if she is pregnant when she's a lot younger so is it possible that she's already been pregnant and she's already had a child yes very conceivably but do I believe that she's ever been a mother as in like she's raised a child absolutely not and the other thing, which is what I will talk about in the next video when I talk about narcissists and being mothers, um, is, like I've said, is the children, especially when they're young, there'll be one child that would be an extension of her. If Harry had got somebody else pregnant, the only thing that she would have cared about is the fact that this child could potentially take Harry away from her or the fact that it could take what she wants, which is money, power, fame, etc. So something would have had to have happened for her to make sure that didn't happen. If Megan had been pregnant, say, and she'd had this child, we would have seen everything. She would have been in photo shoots, pregnant. She would have had her Diana moment on the Portland hospital steps. She's a narcissist. She would not have wanted to be the only one that hides away. Narcissists don't hide away unless they have to. She would have had her moment on those steps. We would have learned how she lost her baby weight. We would have learned how it felt to be pregnant. We we would have learned about absolutely everything. We would have had chapter and verse about how it felt to be pregnant, what she did to lose her baby weight, what it felt like to gain weight, uh, what it felt like to give birth. Um, we would have heard about it from Harry probably, nothing in his book, nothing, absolutely nothing. Not even with the second one, nothing, which is, in my opinion, exceptionally unusual for a narcissist. You've got to remember, this is someone who wrote about this supposed miscarriage in the Times newspaper, paid for an article to talk about it so she could be seen as a victim, went on Oprah to talk about and lie about the royal family to be a victim, went on TV after spending time with African people who have gone through the worst atrocities, making it about her, about how tiring it is to be a mum and be part of the royal family, not giving a thought to the fact that these women who are mums go live in the worst, just, just so tone deaf, it was unbelievable. But yet when she was pregnant, we heard nothing. When she gave birth, we had nothing. We, we had to wait for two weeks until they did that ridiculous um, walk where that's when people were like, oh, she's gained weight. Yeah, she did. But she didn't gain weight before that. Sorry. <laughs> um, so no, I don't believe, I don't believe for a second that she, she was pregnant. And I hope by now, after seeing this footage, these photographs, that you have had your eyes opened and you see it for yourself. Like I say, the, the whys and wherefores, I don't know. But to me, for the royal family to go along with something has to be huge. 
has to be huge. And do I think that they knew in the beginning? No, I don't. And this is why I do believe Megs it happened. I don't believe Megs it happened because they wanted their privacy and they wanted to leave and they wanted to do the half in, half out. I don't believe that. I think something got found out. I think she was exposed for doing things. And I think part of that was also regarding Archie. And I think that she was told that she had to leave. And I believe possibly Harry was given the choice. You can either stay or you go with her. And I think he probably stayed behind to try and iron out the details. But in the end, that was kind of it. She's not welcome here. Um, she can't stay here because it's just going to look weird. Um, especially given the fact that the royal children are often seen out and about on occasions. It's going to be like, well, you're not going to be able to do that. And also because Meghan would not want to raise another person's child. She would not. So the only way that this could potentially be be workable as if they go to the States and they put up this pretense, which is what they've done. If the child, the children live with them, we'd be seeing them. They wouldn't be hiding them away. They wouldn't be hiding them away. And like I say, and I will talk about that in my next video. This is more about the pregnancies. Um, so no, I do not believe. But do I believe that these children exist? Uh, one, I do potentially believe that Archie is Harry's. But I don't believe that Lily is either, in my opinion. I don't. And for people that say, well, that they look like, you've only got to look at the fact that all we see is edited photoshopped weird photographs of the two of them and then the video footage is very controlled by them we never see them out and about normally it's very weird what we see and if you don't think that videos can be edited you've only got to look at films and if you've got the money to do that and you've got a big um management agency that probably is willing to go along with with some things yeah they can they can and i'm going to also be doing another video as well on one time where i'm going to show you how they edit photographs and um video footage as well so you can see for yourself um it happens more often than what you think um fake marriages in the celebrity world happen more often than what you think um because it gives them attention so do I think this is potentially one of them? Yeah, uh, they, they have a business relationship now. I don't believe they're a loved up couple, albeit they're trying to pretend they are. I don't believe they're this amazing family. Um, I don't, nothing, nothing they do, nothing they say, nothing they <sighs> appear in is real, in my opinion, is it's manufactured. They have a manufactured relationship. Um, until the time comes when the divorce will happen and it will happen but it will happen when she probably gets the amount that she wants or they've ironed out the details etc who knows but let me know what you think in the comments if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up um if there's anything that i've missed add it in the comments because you've got to remember that i with working working and trying to do the things that i do i do forget things i sometimes get things wrong um, I'm happy for you guys to let me know in the comments what you think. And it's okay if you don't agree with me. But like I say, all I ask is that you just keep it respectful. What is really disheartening is when you see comments that are attacking when they you don't agree with, say, something that I've said. I don't come on here and ever say what I say is right. I give you my opinion of my extensive knowledge in working in this field, the studies that I've done in narcissism, the way I know they think and behave, etc. However, not everyone thinks the same and that is okay. Okay, so if you have a completely different scenario that you think, I would love to hear it, let me know. Because um, I'm open to, to all ideas and do you know what? And if it ever comes out that, <laughs> that she comes out showing that she was really uh, pregnant, I will first hold my hands up and go, I was wrong, 
but in all honesty I don't think I am wrong um, and I don't think the many of us who have seen the, the footage is wrong either so yeah if you want to um, treat me to a cuppa if you've enjoyed this video the link is in the description box below or you can find the little icon above the subscribe button on my YouTube page you can also follow me on Instagram I'm on Rumble I'm also on TikTok as tea and therapy um, what else my PO box is there if you would like to write to me or as always like some people love to send me little gifts or an Arthur um, you can you can uh, oh yeah contact me via my email address is there my bubble merchandise um, my other channels are there and this week ready to go pretty much is my first installment of the Marilyn Monroe video the Norma Jean Baker so that is going to be going up this week. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go across and do that. And if you want to know where the link is, fast forward to the end of this video, you will see two little circles at the bottom left and right. And they are my tea and therapy channel and my coffee and celebrity channel. So go across and sign up there so you can follow me there so you don't miss future uploads. The other videos um, that I will put up at the end will also be the wedding video. And I will try and find the other one that I've done on the children if I can find it. Um, but if not, you know, the video is down there. So go and go and take a look. Um, so I hope you've had a great weekend and you've um, enjoyed some of the leftover sunshine that we've got going on here in the UK or maybe anywhere else in the world. And I will see you as always in the next video. In the meantime, take care. I love you. I appreciate you. But most of all, I respect you. Mwah. Bye.